Hi, this is a physics projectile motion problem. It says that a player kicks a football with an initial velocity of 15 meters per second at an angle of 42 degrees. So if we draw that here, let's say it the ball is thrown from here and it lands over there. So the initial velocity is 15 meters per second and it's 42 degrees and a guy throws it from here and another guy catches, um, tries to catch it okay and the question continues as a second player is standing at a distance of 30 meters from the first in the direction of the kick and starts running to meet the ball at the instant it's kicked. How fast must he run in order to catch the ball before it hits the ground? So they're asking, um, so this guy needs to run here before this ball touches the floor here. So they're asking how fast sh can he should he run to catch the ball. So in order to know that, you, you need to find how long the ball is in the air and uh, what distance he has to run, right? So V equals displacement over time. So we'll use two equations to find uh, time and then displacement. And time is always calculated by the vertical velocity. Displacement is always calculated by the horizontal velocity. You just have to remember this. Okay. and um, dividing a vector into its uh, vertical and horizontal components there is an easier way to do this so uh, that's the vertical uh, different color vertical and horizontal right okay write 15 because both of them have 15 it's either a cos 15 cos 42 or sine 42 15 cos 42 or sine 42 but those two are different because they're obviously different um, vectors so how do you know if it's cos or sine there's an easier way to do this if the angle can be here or here right so if the angle is closer to what you're finding first we're finding this if it's closer C for cos C for closer then it's cos 42. If it's far, because f it's 42 is not right here, it's right here, and it's not touching this line, right? So that will be sine 42. Great. Now you find the uh, you found the uh, vertical velocity. You need to find the time. First, we'll find the time till here, and then time sub by two to get the total time right here so uh, what equation do you think we can use we have the acceleration velocity and we need to find the time so we find basic equation acceleration equals final velocity minus initial velocity over delta t since we're finding delta t we can switch these around so it'll be delta t equals same thing v2 minus v1 over a acceleration okay this is v2 and this is v1 we know what's v1 we just figured that out 15 sine 42 that's 10.04 so that's 10.04 and what's this so as the ball is rising up the gravity is slowing it down and then right here it's zero and then when ball is falling down again it's speeding up because the gravity is pulling it down so v2 equals zero and v1 we just found out it was 10.04 and acceleration it's not 9.81 but it's negative 9.81 because um, this thing is traveling up and gravity is pulling it down so it matters vector so direction matters so when you divide this you get 
a 1.02 okay sorry for the interruption so t here we found to be 1.02 seconds so um, you double this you get 2.04 seconds in total at time so right here you found out what's t which is 2.04 right and I forgot to do this they actually tell us that these two players are 30 meters apart right you don't know where the ball will land and uh, where he'll go to catch it so that's an X and this is obviously 30 minus X this is all in meters right now you need to find the distance that he needs to travel which is x right here x is also appearing here so if we find this we can find x and how can we find this as i, sa I said earlier um, to find the distance you just use this formula which is very famous in most of the projectile um, problems motion problems um, delta d equals v1 delta t plus half a t square um, yeah you just have to memorize this so distance as we we're finding this distance and it's 30 minus x equals v1 which is right here that you type it in the calculator you get 11.1 you just found the time on uh, 2.04 and you really don't need to do this part right here because acceleration is zero horizontal acceleration is zero so it will be plus a big zero right here so if you type the whole thing in the calculator you get x equals 7.3 so distance here is 7.3 meters and you type that into the calculator you get 3.6 meters per second so he needs to travel 3.6 meters in one second and only then he can catch the ball so by looking at this you know that you have to be a fast runner to play a football that's interesting